Hey guys, it's uh, day one of our elk hunt here in northern Alberta. Um, my uh, hunting partner here, Corey, he's just gone down to check things out. It's been pretty quiet. It's past the rut, uh, but uh, elk are still calling here, here and there. Seen tons of sign, but uh, nothing yet. Uh, seen a pretty good mule deer last night, but uh, on the way into camp, but. Um, no elk so far, just tons of tracks. It rained last night pretty hard. And uh, in the field uh, that we just crossed to get over to the hunting area, there's tons of tracks and some pretty good bull tracks. So we know they're in here. The uh, farmer that farms the edge of this property um, said he figured there's about 500 elk down in this valley here. So just got to turn one up and uh, go from there. But anyways, uh, so far so good. The weather's just above freezing, so it's um, somewhat comfortable, but uh, um, perfect uh, hunting weather, in my opinion. So, anyways, uh, off uh, to the evening hunt here. We'll try calling a little bit here at the end of the um, evening and see if anything comes in. But um, it's post rut, but the elk are still giving out the odd bugle here and there. So, anyway, see what comes in and uh, let you know what happens. spending some time up here, eh, Corey? I think something's an understatement. Every tree, every spruce tree's robbed. for sure it was a den.
It's uh, day three of river hunt. Uh, yesterday we saw, uh, or um, went after those elk we located on day one in the evening. And we got up there and they're all gone, blown out. So we put some uh, cellular trail cameras up. Uh, and then overnight there was nothing. I think uh, one lonely cow elk and that was it. So they left the area. So today we're gonna go hunt the flatlands and uh, go uh, south of where we've been hunting and to uh, some forest that borders some cropland. And uh, from there, we'll see if we can uh, locate an elk and uh, chase it down maybe with uh, Colin. So anyways, uh, give an update a bit later, but uh, so far it's uh, been pretty tough hunting and, uh, but the weather's been pretty much perfect around zero. So uh, anyway, keep on going. elk hunt um, this morning we got out just a little bit late and came uh, down this cut line to get set up and uh, we heard the elk come in off the fields and they were um, coming in so we got them cut off if we would have been here 10 minutes earlier we probably would have had a shot at one but uh, we um, seen one little uh, bull and uh, about a four point, I think. Never had a good shot at him at all. And then we saw or heard another big bull, but we never did get a see of or we never did see him. But he sounded pretty good. So anyway, we're going to uh, keep on hunting here. I think uh, tonight we're going to come back to this uh, same area and see if the elk are coming out, or maybe we'll figure out a slightly different spot. But um, That'll be the plan for this evening, and then tomorrow morning maybe we'll come out an hour earlier and get set up and try to ambush them as they get off the fields here. But uh, anyways, we'll see how it goes. Getting to the end of uh, day four here, and uh, never seen anything this evening other than uh, bull moose. And uh, here's a nice rub he did here. Looking pretty good. But uh, we're still looking for the elk. Maybe we'll find one on our, as we're making our way out of the bush. We still got a mile and a half to go. So, anyways, uh, it's been really slow. It's kind of disappointing, but uh, that's the way it goes. It's hunting, not shopping. Talk about uh, tough hunting, these elk hunts are uh, under 10% uh, resident success, I believe it is, for elk and rifle combined, so, uh, or, so for uh, elk, for uh, bow and rifle combined. So anyways, still looking, but everything's quieted down now for the morning, so we'll probably have to uh, come and chase these things up again this evening and see if we can locate another one.